Look, man, I'll be honest with you, we're going to have to do this in podcast form because, as it turns out, your ass did not put up any of our monthly hauls for about, I don't know, like half a year. So now we got like a, a 10 grillion things, and uh, we're going to have to divide this up into two. This is going to be the one dedicated to what we've gotten that is, that is uh, action figure related, collectibles, all that jazz. And the second one will be movies and music and stuff. And it's going to be two long ass podcasts. Long. So strap in, chill with us, and see what madness we got in store. Video exclusive podcast. Video exclusive podcast. Clearly not going to be audio yeah. <laughs> podcast because what the fuck? That would suck. It would be horrid. Two morons talking about things that you can't see. Yeah. But here you can't see it. So stay tuned for that. This is the toy portion. And let's go. I like when you said, oh, I'm ready for, for my end of the toy haul. And then we come and seven hours of arranging later, 50 dogs displaced from their homes later. We're now teetering on the edge of sand. And something not, has already been broken. It's not broken, guy. The dogs have already decided that they're going to rebel. But here we are. Let's start with Dongatello. <laughs> Dong, dick. Now you're uh, looking to collect all these big yeah. uh, 10 inch turtles from the, what, what, what year was this? The 2012 series, the next 12. series. Uh, pretty great series. I have the other ones. I uh, repainted two. My plan is to repaint all of them. But I finally got Dongatello for Mad Cheap. And he actually came with the weapon for once. Boom. So that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. You also found this for Mad Cheap. What the Dude. fuck? Dude. So GameStop's got some weird pricing going on right now. Because this was supposed oh, to be... their stocks are up, guys. That's a good point. <laughs> there uh, there was supposed to be 30 bucks, but when I went out and paid for it, it was mad 18 bucks, guy. Yeah. For a massive a toxin fig? Yeah, so that's pretty cool, man. So uh, you'll probably unbox that yeah, sometime. Yeah, will, guy. Pretty rad, guy. So uh, you also got these super unrad... Yeah, homie. Tiny figures to, to balance it out. Yeah. <laughs> And it's this hilarious looking King Shark. King Shark, homie. I'm a Sharkite. So, uh, yeah. Got this one. <laughs> a fucking face, man. Friendly so, looking ass. I'm not going to lie. I like this scale of bat figures. Like, I have several of them. I just don't like the prices. And, seven uh, bucks the is flash. like a little much for this size. Yeah, seven bucks is, you know. And they come with accessories, but the accessories, I take it, suck mm -hmm. ass, Mad right? ass, guy. So, that's a thing. But I like Flash and I like King Shark, so I like bit the bull. Cool, cool. Bit the bull, actual bull being bitten here. Mad, mad bull guy. Then you found a bunch of your uh, grails. Yeah, these, so uh, as I established, I'm a sharkite. Uh, I found these for pretty cheap. This is one of the ones that always goes for a lot for some reason. And I found it for like insanely cheap, like less than 20 bucks. Ordered it, got it, realized why it was so cheap. It smelled like 78,000 old men that died of cancer <laughs> from freaking smoking too much, dude. Pure tobacco in that shit. It stunk so horribly. Eventually, the smell kind of... I think it's gone fully. Yeah. Um, the only smoke I'm smelling is from the dog's turd. Yeah, they smell like turd. They totally uh, smoked down them fucking camels, though. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I saved a bunch, and I got a smoky whale. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whip! <laughs> uh, good one. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a thing. It was just a fact, guy. Okay? I know. I'm saying it was a good one. <laughs> uh, Later that day, we found our local guy selling one for what was it, like 120 something. Yeah, we're like, damn, <laughs> homie. You also found uh, this uh, Hammer Boy. Hammer Boy. He does Hammer doesn't move anymore. It does. You have to. Oh yeah. Okay. So he's got a little maw action, action and yeah. a little. Remember that time hammerheads. Dude, projected their I fucking think, hammerheads. I think that's like their their attack, right? That's how they do it. Classic hammerhead move. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this, uh, this is probably one of my faves. I'm not gonna lie. What's his name? A hammero, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not ha well versed. Hammy. I'm not well versed in the freaking sharks line because it kind of blows. But I do like the designs, so I bought uh, the show. Several. This is a shit about the show. Yeah. It's, the toys are cool though. Uh, uh, next, these two came at a, came as a package. This boy and this boy. Um, I bought them for again under twenty bucks because they came as a package and they said uh, slightly damaged or whatever, fair condition, whatever it is. Um, I got them, boys. The other one had literal, literal fungus growing on it, guy, like straight mushrooms. It was black with black fungus. So I had to clean the boy, and all the paint was off. It was they were in terrible condition. This one was not even 
golden. He didn't have eyes. I had to do a full restoration on him. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like how this gold one came out. Yeah, it's got good, good eye game. Looks uh, looks like it looks like. It looks That's like, how it looks. Yeah, like a legit. Yeah, so it's a really good. I did really good on that one. I want to blow my dick a little because <clears throat> no one else is doing it. This one, unfortunately, the paint started cracking in the chest, so you could see kind of a weird consistency. But it looks good, especially considering how fungusy it was when it came. Mm -hmm. Uh, classic. Uh, classic move when you're flexing a skull like this. Yeah. So the reason why he's doing that is because he does have an action. Uh, you pull this arm back, and then he punches you. Yeah. What does that have to do with this? I don't know. I was just trying to... <laughs> Justify it. <laughs> Justify it, yeah. It's this, gammy hand? This one's action was actually a freaking jetpack that it came with, but it didn't come with that. So. It did come with fungus, though, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Fungus for free, man? Where else are you going to get fungus for free? In our house. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Mad fun guy. So, this last one, I'm not going to lie. I kind of don't like it. It was the first one I bought, <clears throat> and I just got it because it was super cheap. Uh, and it didn't even have antennae, so I had to make antennae. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, homie. It's lobster. I can't put him in the storage box because yeah. you made his frail ass antennae. I'm going to redo the antennae because I think they're too small and kind of corny looking. Yeah. So, homie, a green? Also, <laughs> I know I was thinking of setting up a, a joke about your cock, but it goes without saying. Yeah, damn, homie. Also, my cock. But anyway. <laughs> You found a bunch of these fugly looking ass. Yeah, so these, yeah, these the fugglers, those were like super expensive when they first came out. They were on clearance at Walmart, so I got them. I like ugly, cool things, so I got these boys. Cool ass, squinty ass squirrel. And these ones are unfortunately from the hit film Ugly Dolls, but they're cute, guy. And they were a dollar to Dollar Tree. Yeah. So I got them. They're cool. But yeah. Robert Rodriguez is like, glad somebody bought something yeah. from that movie. I'm just going to ignore that they're from Ugly Dolls and just pretend they're from something cool. Then we got this uh, derailing the cool factor. We got this uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, kind of derpy looking bear. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Bear. I got yeah, That's why I got it. It was cute and derpy. Derpy? Yeah. I hang out with him. Then we got this weird ass looking Joker Glinga. that feels hollow as hell. Yeah. So these are from Spin Master. They're the ones that are popping up in Family Dollars for some reason. I kind of liked it, so I got it, and it was cheap. Yeah, so it's a cool design. Whoa. Mad Hollow. So, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, he's hollow, guy. Yeah, Mad Hollow. The Batman's also pretty cool. So, yeah, there you go. They're just static, right? Except for their yeah. arms. Yeah, wow. arms wow. and head. Only the arm can move, and the head a little bit. Wow. Cool, cool looking little joke, though. Yeah, that was like cutting it. So, we have uh, Iron Man here. Boom. Yeah, it comes with a little little effects, you know, that you can put in his hands. I'm not gonna lie, I lost one of them. So I just I gave him a fist hand instead. The reason why I got this one, I'm not a huge Marvel collector, but I used to have the original Marvel legend of this. Uh so you know I always liked it. Boom. Next. What was that boom? Uh Rowdy. Ronda Rousey that is. Yeah. The, the one that's cool to hate now. Yeah, everybody hating. And uh, it doesn't matter. She's got a mad donk. Dude, she got a mad donk? Dude, she's got a legendary donk. She, she got a Kaka Rousey? I don't think people appreciate the donk. And it's Kaka producing quality. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. A little donk action. Uh, need a little board or something? Board? Let's see. Let's throw uh, another fragile boy. Um, this uh, Marvel Legends... Retro uh, freaking Green Goblin. Uh, I always wanted a Green Goblin. This one was cool. I did repaint his eyes because the AIs it came with were way too kawaii for me. I was like, damn, homie, I didn't know Green Goblin was mad cute. <laughs> so I repainted them and they look way better. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's a pretty dope looking ass fig. But the question is, is it as dope? Oh, uh, dude, fly guy! <laughs> That's the fucking fly guy. Dude, the fly guy. Look at his Fucking face, man! Yeah, it's super corny looking. I love it. It's pretty great. It's a Mego figure. Possibly one of the greatest Mego figures ever. Yeah, this is, uh, I wish I would have found one. Because it's mad corny, guy. <laughs> I love it. Super corny looking. Then you found, uh, this thing? It's, a, mo this, uh, it's guy? a mushroom from Minecraft. Uh, don't know why I got it. Go ahead and throw that in the box. I mean, I don't regret it. Um... And then we have this here, Bats, from Markham Knight, right? Yeah. 
So that's pretty cool looking uh, bat right there, guy. I had already sworn off getting any random bat figures, and then I found this one at Walmart, and we're like, damn it. Gotta get it. It's, it's great. Rad looking bat. Definitely better than McFarlane's. That's a four hit bat. His head game. He's ahead of the game. <clears throat> Man. These were uh, some things that you were on the prowl for to yeah, find dude. cheap because they don't come cheap. Nah, homie. And they're finally. These are cheaper than the NECA ones, but these are still not very cheap. Finally, finally found them. We got the McFarlane Eddie trooper. as the trooper. Yeah, so I had a freak. I was wheeling and dealing with some chick that was like, oh yeah, I got it for like super cheap, freaking 30 bucks. I was like, hell yeah, guy. And then she didn't know where it was and unlisted it. And then I was like, come on, guy. Then someone else posted it for around the same, so it didn't really hurt me. But guess what? Later, that hoe mm -hmm. put it up again for more. So she probably looked it up when I when I asked about it and freaking took it down so I wouldn't get it, guy. Well, what was your question? I was just like, freaking, I didn't even ask anything. I just made an offer. I'm homie. And it wasn't even that much less. It was like maybe like two bucks less or something just so it could be a round number. And she, oh, no, no. You know what happened? I bought it. I bought it at the price she oh, had yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she And, she and then later, it. yeah, like it was like four days later and she hadn't shipped it. And I was like, what the hell's going on? She's like, oh, I don't know where it is. Took it down, refunded me. And then like a week later, she put it up for like 60-something bucks. I was like, come Stinky. on, guy. Not the first time that happened to me with freaking Iron Maiden shit either. Same. Speaking of Iron Maiden shit, mm -hmm. you got this. Killers. The Killers cover uh, diorama. Um, fairly pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I like the NECA ones, but I kind of like these more because they're super stylized. Like, they still look like the covers, but they're very much McFarland of the era looking, too. Yeah. So, they're a cool mix of things. Yeah, yeah, pretty rad. This trooper is rad as hell. Said no one ever. Who says that? Rad rad as hell. Hell. Let me throw these in there because they're thematically linked. I got these small boys. These come with the uh, yeah, recent the re-release albums. Figures. Uh, we got the uh, how, uh, Number of the Beast one. Mm -hmm. Which I already had the, the CD, so I just ordered the figure for cheap. And then we got this boy. Somewhere in time. We got this homie. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? The only reason I or ended up buying Fear of the Dark with the figure was because it was cheap. Otherwise, I wouldn't have spent that much on that CD. So I got the figure for cheap. So yeah, hell yeah, I'll get it. This one that we found at Walmart, <sighs> Mad Dusty. <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah, so these are cool. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool little. The resale market on these is fucking insane for some reason. Yeah, so the the purse the company that had the rights to make these is doesn't have them anymore. I actually talked to someone from them because they were supposed to release figures, um, and they were still up for pre order everywhere. And I was like, "Yo, when are these coming out?" He's like, "Uh, so these aren't coming out because of a licensing thing. So we got to take them down, guy." Great. So yeah, that sucks. They were cool looking too. You know what else sucks? When this. Fucking Grinch no, fell you, and shattered right now. You shattered it, guy, on the floor. You you slammed it on the ground, guy. Yep, you broke threw another it on head. The so there you go, man. The Grinch ornament. You're a, a Grinchite. You're a suicide, really. Suicide, yeah. And uh, you found this little Grinch guy, and then I broke him. Yeah. So that's cool. And then you also found this little cat in the hat. Yeah, cat in the hat. Thankfully, not the Mike Myers one. Oh shit! Imagine. What is this man? Doesn't have. Come on, guys. <laughs> Feline and the... Nope. Come on, man. How... Oh, he's turning that way. Feline and the Fez. There you go. Let me just then... throw these boys oh, in here yeah. real quick. Uh, just to bring our main back in the game. I think I showed these, but I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah. Killers and... And, uh... Numa of the Beast. Yep. I forgot how to say Beast in uh, German. Comes with the little Beast Boy. Boom. So that's cool. Still can't find a piece of mine for cheap, so that's cool. And you did find this, though. The uh, Does this thing fucking stand? Yeah, he has a stand. I just didn't oh. include it because I don't want to lose it. Me seek at the Goodwill, mad cheap. 
Got that boy. Me six from uh, Rick and Morty. Yep. Cool. I'm the, God, guy, why? <laughs> why did you get this? Well, sometimes I buy things. I don't know why. I admittedly, that one's not great, but I did buy it for the baby. Uh, you could have just gotten the baby. No, they come in as a set, guy. So the baby's mad cute. I like them. I don't even know what they are. They're just like a thing. Uh, yeah, what are they? I don't know. Okay. Definitely don't look like... What is that, man? It's not a pigeon. Chicken, no? Uh, it's not a chicken. Chickens don't look like this. Monstrosity. Uh, Next, we got uh, this guy. Mark Strong? Mark Strong himself. Yeah. The only reason you bought it. Yeah. It was cheap, too. We got it. We found out five below for like five bucks, guy. For below five? Below, man, below five. And then I had the uh, Tiki Harley, and you got this Tiki Bat. Insane Bat. I'll make sure you don't break that one, guy. Nah, boy. But we also got this, uh, or I also got this horror handmade. Oh. Uh, uh, I was hoping that washing it would get rid of all the fuzz. Made it worse. Made it more fuzzy, so yeah. Next, got this Master Chief boy. I, I remember know. for a while it was pretty hard to find. Now they're literally littering the streets of every city ever. They can't get rid of them. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Yeah. Who made well, these? these big boys, the the Master Chief's still a little. Who made these? Uh, I don't know. Some new company. Oh, I don't know company. Yeah, pretty good company. What's in the back, fool? You have the, the box. It doesn't fucking say shit, man. Yeah, exactly. So how I know. It says, uh, I don't know. You're the one about it. Let me see. Wow. WCT is that the company? Wicked Cool Toys. Oh, okay. I got this mad uh, shiny duck. So that's cool. And now you're thinking, really, guy, a duck? What are you stupid? Yes. Answer. Yes. But uh, also, it leads into this next oh, duck. Man, <laughs> this is one of my favorite things of all time. I'm gonna take it out. These are called tubs. Yeah. And they're basically like, um. You know, famous IPs made into uh, duckies, mad, mad rubber ducks, duckies. Yeah. And here we have uh, <laughs> Kiefer Sullivan's character, David, from... Uh, God damn, man. It's him, dude. Uh, from, <laughs> from the Lost Boys, man. Somehow this duck figure looks more like him than, uh, than the NECA figure they released back in the day. <laughs> Look at that shit, man. That's just him, guy. That's I'm awesome. Not, I'm not gonna lie. I bought this. Uh, I, I bought this uh, Beetlejuice first, and I decided not to get that one. And you're like, dude, you should have gone that boy. <laughs> I went wow. back and got it, guy. It's great. Should have made uh, the Sax Man though. Yeah. So I also got Beetlejuice. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We got a. Uh... It kind of looks like Michael Keaton too. Yeah, homie. Yeah, there you go. This is like. When you know collecting has gone awry. Yeah, you're making dogs out of things. Like, and yet, kind of cool. Also, disturbing end to him. Yeah, the tails are pretty gross. Banana-like. They also come in bathtubs. Oh, yeah? Do they come with wash tubs? Yeah, they come with all that classic. Dude, you're going to get all the wash tubs uh, crowd. Uh, mad wash, at wash tubs views? No. You don't know what wash tubs is. Keep it that way. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, wash tubs is that no. <laughs> That would be the ultimate video right there. Yeah, explaining wash tubs, the, <laughs> the history of wash tubs. Instant million views. Uh, we, got, <laughs> we got Skeletor. Uh, you had a classic villain from the 80s that had, eh, swice. Now I have one. Mm -hmm. These guys, man, we recently found out through the channel Spectre Creative, which if you're interested in toys and how they're made and all that stuff. Oh, I do. I've been uh, binging the shit out of them. Yeah, you got to check out his channel. It's pretty awesome. He actually worked in the industry for Mattel. Especially in the He-Man lines, among others. Yeah, John Heyman. And um, he uh, divulges, divulges a lot of interesting factoids. And one of the interesting factoids he recently uh, revealed was that the way that uh, stores order stuff, uh, they're supposed to order lines of toys by series. But instead of doing that individually throughout the year... They tend to make one big order at the beginning of the year yeah. to get them through the whole year. And that results in the first series just flooding the shelves. And all the other series being like, where the fuck are these toys? As a result, we've seen this and this, and this He-Man in 
fucking hordes, man. Dude, they don't even so have... So many. They don't even have the full first series. Like, they don't have Man at Arms, Beastman, or anything. They just have freaking Skeletor and He-Man. It's crazy. So many of them. There's thousands, man. So I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to start getting the ones I want. I mean, I know If they ever come out. Yeah, if they ever come out. I Like, I already poured a Scareglow. And I'm kind of getting into it for some reason. Even though I have no real attachment to them. I didn't have attachment to the show either. It was just that they were cool looking. Yeah, and I could cool. make up my own stories yeah. for them. The show kind of fucking sucks, to be honest with you. The oh, original oh, show shit. anyway. Also helps that I got this uh, cool ass fiend, uh, which I'm currently building a lantern for. It's not finished yet. I'll show it in my channel when it's finished. Unless it sucks, then I'll just burn it. This is from their. Uh, this is from Mattel's like Mas mix of Masters of the Universe and the wrestling. Masters of the WWE Universe. Mm -hmm. right, get it? Which is actually a pretty cool idea. I like some them. Some of them are really neat. Yeah, some of them are cool. Unfortunately, again, they're not being restocked. There's going to be a Becky Lynch, dude. Oh, yeah? And it's good. Man, we got to get that, get that, get that. They're already popping up on Mercari for like over 100 bucks in the next oh, series. Because, of shit. course, they're not being freaking restocked anywhere. Lame. Anyway, so, uh, I somehow found one of these and I almost shat my pants. The Fiend, which is actually really suitable for this big bulky form. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. They call him, uh, I think, Big Bulky Boy, I think they call him. Next, we got oh. this 12-inch Lannard, uh, which Predator? is just it's just Predator's first name is Lannard. Yeah. John Lannard. Lannard is a, is a company that makes all these kid-friendly toys, and mm. for some reason they've taken to making Predators and Aliens mm. now. Uh, I do have an Alien video on my channel. I didn't bring them here because we already made a video, so why bring them back? Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if you're ever going to try to yeah. uh, uh, customize it. But, yeah. Uh, this has one of the most powerful non-laser pointer lights I've ever seen in my freaking existence. You could blind a guy from across the world, dude. Where's the button? In the front. Oh. Is this going to blitz out the fucking screen? Maybe. Holy Trust me, shit. this shit is insane. Like, if it's if it's dark in your room, this shit will light up oh, half the room, God. guy. Look at, oh, look at this. I'm going to close my eyes because that shit hurt. Damn, homie. It's not a laser pointer. On a pointer. night of terror. Good reference. <laughs> it's just a freaking light that's insanely powerful. In LED. Holy shit, man. He also comes with a removable helmet. Dude, I'm, I'm about to remove my skin with this fucking shit. And his mandibles oh, yeah. go... Blah, blah, blah. How do his mandibles go... Blah, blah. You push in the top of his head. You know, the... the oh, the classic... Uh, the classic predator, predator socket. Soft spot. Yeah. It's pretty cool, man, for that for the price... And the size oh, and the blinding light. Can't get Pretty over cool. this light. You freaking check out my Lanard review of the aliens. I'm trying to find the Predators, but in our area, some guy bought all the Predators off every Walmart. Come on, guy. And are selling them for 50 bucks. These are $10 figures, guy. Yeah, fucking trash-ass scalpers, man. Trash. It's mm -hmm. trash, guy. Next up, we have this Dollar Tree 10-piece, 100-piece uh, animated series bat. It's kind of cool. So I got it. Like, I don't know if, if, if it counts as scalping that I've sold figures for way over what I originally paid for them. No, because I didn't had them buy, forever. Yeah. yeah. One, I didn't hoard 10 grillion figures and deprived everything. I mean, everybody of them. You I had bought, them forever. Yeah, yeah, I bought those figures for myself, kept them for ages, and sold them out of necessity. And was like, nah, boy, I'm not going to give this for... Yeah. 16 bucks 24 bucks i'm gonna fucking get what i got you know this fool has bought all the freaking predators from all the walmarts here and is selling for 50 bucks he did that recently with the kong and godzilla figures too and this is the same guy that we mentioned before had bought all the playmates king uh, godzilla figures and was selling for 50 bucks no one was buying them no one hope they rot in this fucking Ass. basement yeah yeah, are you things, sure it's not a laser? Shit's a fucking blind now. It's an LED guy. Uh, speaking of things rotting in someone's ass, I got two... Imagine uh, they put a laser in a kid's <laughs> I mean, it has happened. We got these mini bats. I have a thing for mini bats. Uh, I also have this other black mini bat. Uh, and I had a fourth one that you lost. Yeah, you claimed that it was up my ass. Clearly. Uh, which it's not. I can uh, verify, but... Obviously, it was in your butt for a long time. It got stinking. You don't want to return it because it stinks. Nah, I told you where it was, and then it disappeared from there, too. Yeah, it's in your ass, clearly. 
Guy, check my ass right now. And do it. As it turns to the gayest video ever. <laughs> now we got Next, this, we uh, got uh, Elvis Fu. Elvis uh, Eminem. Elvis Eminem wow. that looks like an Elvis from a book that we're going to tackle here yeah. on the channel that has a horrible Elvis impersonators. Yeah. Mom uh, got me this and uh, I'm going to keep it. So yeah. there you go. There we go. Guy, you gotta start putting stuff in that box. Well, guy, you're the one that's like putting the the most breakable shit in my fucking maw. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 what's on it? Dust, dude. Oh, what is that? Ah. What is that? That's condensation, oh, dude. Oh, what's oh, smell that. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Is that pee, guy? I don't know. It was just in there. I don't know, guy. Oh, dude, it was on the floor. Oh, and the no. freaking dogs have a tendency to go in there and pee. Uh, well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to unbox it anyway, so who cares? Gross. Anyway, it's Pee Kong. Uh, showed one of those. You know, you have like fucking disinfectant? Or? No, why don't, who would I have disinfectant, dude? Look at my room. It's the Come ship pit. There's no disinfectant. There. Dude, don't do that! My God. Dude, rarely have you done something I wanted to kill you over, and that was one of them. You literally handed pee into my fucking... Yeah, and then you rubbed it on my freaking, freaking clean shirt. And I fucking doodle. I mean, grab nah, the man guy. And handled it. Nah, that's that's douche move, guy. Is it? Yes, you freaking rubbed pit, rancid piss on my freaking clean I would, I would shirt. Say, I would say handing me rancid piss is pretty douche. No, because I didn't know that there was rancid piss. You knew it was rancid piss, and you put it on my shoulder. That's a good that's point. That's a douche move. It's a good point. I'm pissed now, guy. Are you? Yes. I'm pretty pissed about not having disinfected my hands. Well, it's not my fault I don't have disinfectant. Is it? Anyway, uh, here's the tick. <laughs> Head. This is so, a lame puppet. So this is the weird thing. There's no piss in here, guy. What, this is a... what, was it out of the bag? No. In it there? Was, it was in the bag. In, in there it wasn't out of the bag? No, it was in the bag. This bag is what? is freaking bone dry, dude. The shit. It might just be condensation because it's been really cold in here. Oh my, that smells. Like it does stink. Yeah, it stinks real bad. Oh god! Oh, stop sniffing it, fool! Oh, it's stop disgusting. smelling it! It's the most repugnant scent I've ever smelled in my life. Stop! Oh, it's clearly guy, urine. Guy, I'm gonna kill you, dude. Shit! Look, this was in there too, and it's freaking bone dry, and it's a freaking plush. Nothing else is wet. Feels moist. No, nah, homie, that's bone dry. Is it supposed to be super moist feeling? I mean, it's literally the least moist thing I've ever felt smelly. in my life, guy. It's so unmoist, it's not even funny. It smells a little pissy, I'll if be that, honest If you. that's what you think moist is, well, freaking don't envy your lovers. It's a little pissy, guy. Dude, it's it? the least pissy thing of all time. It smells like nothing, dude. I mean... Pretty pissy. Oh, like when I showed it, guy. Well, yeah, you did show it. Did I? Remember that time you rubbed rancid piss on my clean shirt? That was yeah. freaking cool, guy. Anyway, here's a tie. He <laughs> meant <laughs> and uh, oh. oh wait, I saw it. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be a puppet. Yeah. And uh, I know it's for kids' fingers, but this sucks. Yeah, it's not good. Like, what? come on, guy. Like, okay, if you make it work, it just does this. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck is that? Man? And I lie. Uh, I always I wanted that one since back in the day you had a tick catalog, and that was in there. Tickalog? Yeah. So Wait, where's those I bacteria if, wipes? I don't know if we should use this because it's not. Look. Oh yeah, the box. You know what? That's what happened. Freaking dogs went ah. in there and peed, dude. But why is everything else so bone dry? Ah, it's dripping. Well, go throw it, fool. What does that? I don't have, dude. They're behind you, fool. Seriously? Yes. Yeah, oh, where? Where? Oh, right here. Literally within your reach. Literally can't reach. I tried. Look, guy. All I know is you had these bacteria wipes at your disposal. There were, there were, unless I have freaking Mr. Fantastic powers, I wouldn't have been able to reach that shit, fool. Anyway. Uh, oh, look at this yellow stain, man. This, this would be devastating for a normal collector. I don't care because I'm going to unbox it. Anyway, and it's not like it got to the figure, so who cares? Oh, man. He's swimming in there, guy. It's literally nothing else was piss covered, just that. The, uh, you gotta smell that little turtle guy. It doesn't smell full. Look, where is it? Yeah, I already threw it with the other stuff. Why are you going to this one? Fact. Anyway, 
Here, wash your stank fucking claws. Oh, guy. let me freaking wash the freaking rancid piss you put on me. How's that, man? This guy, guy, you gotta admit that was a douche move. I was unaware of the piss. Mm. I handed it to you, and then you were like, I "Oh, this is rancid piss that smells like pure shit." Here, let me rub it on your face and teabag you. I would say it's a douche move. I would say more a reactionary move. Nah, douche move. And also a move that's like, dude, you just handed me fucking piss. It sucks. Oh, oh, also a move where I was like, dude, just handed me piss, and you denied it was piss. Then we verified it was piss. Because how would it be piss? And then I was like, dude, piss. Well, logically, it doesn't make sense. Looking at my way, how would it be piss if nothing else is piss covered? Dude, I, you gotta resmell that little turtle. It guy. didn't smell like anything, guy. Oh, man, piss, guy. This was in there. What is it? Nothing. Doesn't smell like piss. Well, to be fair, this was in there. Like ceramic. Nothing. Did you use the lick it? No, I didn't lick it. I would look. Lick this shit. Ugh. Damn, it tastes like piss, guy. <laughs> what is this? Uh, piss? <laughs> <laughs> was this in the piss bag? <laughs> no, guy. Okay, I was just wondering, guy. Merman. This is uh, Merman Jones. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, cousin of Ethel Merman. Uh, that classic callback to the fucking like fifties and shit. What doing, guy? I mean, I'd say it's a better callback than piss. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the call kick. You gotta move past the piss. The piss pass? Yeah. Are you gonna take this one out? Yeah. I'm gonna take them all out, guy. Okay? All right. Don't. I'm looking at the side, guy. I knew we were gonna open I it. I was again. checking for piss in there, man. It wasn't in there. I accidentally, so I added this one to my pile of loot mm -hmm. on on uh, Big Bad, and uh, I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. So I ended up spending twenty plus for a freaking merman. That was a thing I did. So uh, did uh, afterwards, uh, you guy. If you find bring out... back the piss, I'm gonna piss you off. No, no. Afterwards, did you find out that a uh, little merman got on stage and went newt newt? <laughs> Uh, somebody gets that that yeah. sucks yeah please don't get that next i got this uh jack-o-lantern that i licked and tasted like piss full of <laughs> full of uh, uh alien full of these little toy story aliens no they're not colored obviously which mm -hmm. i think you plan to do yeah i want to color them i got a bunch of them they actually came with a freaking board game but i broke the shit go ahead and uh, screw that back on there piss boy come on man. i'm gonna go ahead and chuck it in there Dude, I'm kind of pissed about that. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you're the one that left it in literal urine. No, it was on the floor. I didn't think the damn dogs were going to urinate. Look, man, we've just went through the piss fiasco. Uh, clearly, this is a repugnant endeavor. Pisscate. But hashtag pisscate. Pisscate. But I think everything will be calm. Yeah. Once you see the greatest purchase of all time, this mad shark. I know. And I think sharks. I think of. Uh, Goofy ass heads. <laughs> Look at this pattern on him, man. It's horrible. His face. What is that, dude? It's the most pathetic shark. It's not as, as pathetic as your uh, Tootsie Roll hammerhead. No, it's more pathetic yeah, than it's Tootsie weird. Roll hammerhead. Oh, Tootsie Roll hammerhead. That's also something I've never shown. Tootsie Roll hammerhead. We found this in the parking lot. On the floor, dude. Look at <laughs> look at his hammerhead. <laughs> it's, it's literally a straight fucking cylinder, man. Pretty awesome. Gotta say, uh, this is uh, John uh, Fishman. Yeah, John Fishman. I think it's those um, those freaking whales. Is it whale sharks? The ones that have the gross. I think I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, they're nasty, dude. Oh, uh, gross sharks. I think they're also known as the gross sharks. I think? Uh, they're gross because uh, they swim in piss. Dude, I'm pissed about that. And so is my toy apparently. You're pissed about this. Don't put anything else on the part where the piss bag was at. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh, you had already put a piss bag. Well, on there. the piss bag was dry. It was just the that was cardboard. a big bag too. We can't even reuse the big bag. Okay, we got a uh, killers. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Killers? No, this is not killers. No, this it's is from just... it's from the first album. Oh, wait, wait, almost dropped it. Iron Maiden was the first album. I wasn't gonna get this one, but they started going up in price, and I do want to get them all. So I found it for cheap. Now I just want to get peace of mind, peace but of I don't want want to pay twenty bucks for peace of mind. It's gonna go higher, guy. Twenty bucks, though, dude. I can smell the piss on my shirt, guy. No. You can't even smell. No, you're the, right. The, what was that? What? I just got like a pissy scent. Well, you did good. literally stick piss in your maw and lick it. Might have been that guy. All right, let's move on from the piss. Speaking of piss, <laughs> no, here's a piss-colored <laughs> banana. 
Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Peely. I have a P-lection uh, from the Fonda agent Peely, dude. A Gili, I call him. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, he's related to Gili, which starred your boy, yeah. Ben Affleck, and uh, Piss. <laughs> <laughs> For real, though, we got to move past the Piss. Uh, yeah. Hashtag past the Piss. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Uh, yeah. Pass the piss. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, um, here's the uh, the, the oh, death here's... stroke uh, with the super gay hand. Yeah, he's uh, looking uh, looking like uh, he likes the guy. company of fems. Who, who thought that this was a cool pose for an inbox death stroke? I'm not even concerned about the hand. I'm concerned about the fact that he's clearly holding in a mad yeah, dookie. Yeah, the pose is terrible. So that's the thing that he does. He's a master of Duke holding, I think. Uh, Matt Dukey holding the action. Unfortunately, our guys can't hold their piss. And... <laughs> piss. Here we got a uh, uh, Beetlejuice. Guys. Uh, this is ty- uh, what? Toonie Terrors? Toonie Terrors, Beetle guys. I, I kind of want that Regan one from The Exorcist. I don't really know why. I've never been partial to Regan being commercialized. Yeah. I've always been like, dude, give me a fucking <laughs> Father Marion figure. Only thing we've gotten some big headed jerk version of him that sucks. What? Yeah, those little like big headed toys that are oh, just, yeah? like mystery bag ones. Ah, uh. it, it's just an old guy. Like, come on, without detail, it's just an old flat looking guy. Like this sucks. I mean, I'm sure that that's the the reasoning behind not releasing a figure. But I agree, well, I would buy a figure. Yeah, like a like a a good looking you know neck quality or higher figure would look like Father Marin. Yeah. You know, he's a priest. He's got his little accoutrement of, yeah. uh, of, of the priesthood. Got a little hat, maybe. Yeah. Uh-huh, a little coat. Yeah. A little, little umbrella. A little briefcase. It's just a guy. Yeah, okay, it's just fine. Homie guy. Anyway, <laughs> this is fucking uh, Beetle Geist. Yeah. Uh, got a little backdrop of Saturn back there. Yeah, Matt's hat. Oh, man. There's going to be a part two, apparently, for yeah, sure. Yeah, dude. You, you asked me recently. What would be a movie that you love that you don't want to see a sequel to? And you said and Piss I said, Boys 2000? I said Beetlejuice. I don't um, want it to be freaking messed with. I, like, I hate that kind of mentality when it comes to reboots and shit. But that's one of those, it's like, don't do it. Sequelizing a, 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 such a strange concept. Yeah. And it's a comedy. Yeah. It's, it's And gonna, also take into account that Tim Burton... Uh, it's not Tim Burton anymore. It's not... Yeah, he you know he's he's kind of like said yeah I can rely on on, on CGI, which clearly is not what anybody wants him no, to do. Maybe. But uh, you know that's gonna be a thing. Yeah. Next, what is this? I got the I have a thing for gross figures and apparently gross floors full of piss. I'm about to say. Um, <laughs> it's not my fault, guy. You gotta admit. In fact, Ted is this guy. Yeah, uh, no, he does talk, but it's annoying, and you can't find the button. That made my eyes water. Hate that. Oh, oh man, where's the button? I'm telling you. Well, that sucks. So anyway, that sucks. But I do like the little design, so I got in those cool oh, mucusy looking guy. Uh, I like mucus. From the bladder. Does this count as a toy? Let's count it. Iron Man. It's not a toy, but uh, you know whatever. Here we have a Iron Man cup. <sighs> yeah. This is a better look at the design on it. Yeah. Kind of a mixture of all. Yeah. A lot of stuff. We it, got a. It was from Power Slave somewhere in time. It was from the uh, from the early years greatest hits, which I used to have. Cool. Pretty cool. cool. It's a little the the design's a little faded on the on the cup, but I don't really care. Uh, and of course, because I said there wasn't gonna be any DVDs or anything, here's a couple. <laughs> yep. So we got a Power Slave and uh, Ice Cube War and Peace yeah, Volume yeah. Two, which you found for dirt cheap. I have the first volume on vinyl. Now I have the second one on CD. Classic man. Mac and and driving. You can only do one of those. No piss. No, there's no piss on that. I know, man. You seem to be very piss oriented today. So, uh, if you want to see me unbox a piss box, uh, that will happen on the channel later. I also plan to unbox several of these things and just kind of chat about them, man. Uh, pissbox.com. Uh, pissbox.org. These, uh, I finally ordered something. I thought I would never do it from the Funko shop. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And I, I gotta say, their little pa their packaging is pretty on fleek, except for the fact that this one's mad crushed. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I ordered a, the Funko Shop exclusive char director Charlie from Always Sunny. Um, so yeah. And because I felt stupid just ordering one from there, and I still needed. Wow, this has a, a remarkable resemblance to him. Yeah. I still needed uh, Frank. So I got Troll Toll. The Troll. In this great box that they sent. Got Troll Frank. That's just a troll, to be honest with you. But yeah. wouldn't pay the toll. To get into that boy's hole? Definitely don't want to pay that toll. Yeah, homie, my Jared home. does, though. My hole is not on fleek. Jared's like, damn, boy, I paid the toll. Why am I a freaking... Why am I the boy? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? And then we got Maximus. Dude. My boy, Russ. He was on clearance, pro. guy. Did it hurt it that he was on clearance? Oh, yeah? He used Didn't two I dogs, dude. Yep, yep. How dare they not buy Russ? I also got uh, Frankenstein a week after we saw the movie. Actually, that week that we saw the movie, and we're like, that was a movie we saw. Uh, but it is a great design, So, and I do like the pop. Unfortunately, they didn't have uh, the Baron with his massive goiter. Dude, I think the cost for the goiter would have been way too high. Too Go much plastic. The goiter budget? Yeah, it wasn't in there, guy. And then, of course, we got the rest of the gang. D. D, a.k.a. the fucking bird, man. Here is uh, the princess. We nope. got uh, Dennis as uh, Dayman. Oh, uh, no, wait a minute. Oh, this is great. Look, the freaking, the each one ha comes with a quote on the top. And his is Dayman. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to unbox. I mean, you have to take oh, the thing. Okay. Yeah, they come in the in the sleeve. The lip. Yeah. The and sleeve. then we got Charlie as a Dayman. I like how the light is dying on that end. That's good. And uh, Mac is the Nightman. Mac is the Nightman. From Always Sunny, which if uh, you haven't seen, you should. It's my favorite show of all time. Unless you're going to take the satire as actual things that they do and believe. Yeah. And act like a total dumbass. Come on, guy. How does this happen? I don't know. Put those back in the box, guy? No, I'm, well, I'm trying to clear the box to bring them. No. We got a Stay Puffed. This was originally like a 30 dub buck thing, which is ridiculous for what it is. But it was on clearance at GameStop, and I think it was like six bucks or something like that. Yeah. So I was like, hell yeah, guy. We know somebody that looks exactly like a Stay Puffed does, only with clothes and obviously not this pallid. Am I right? We do? Yeah, guy. Movie gallery. Oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. And he's a Ghostbusters fan. Big time. It's not an insult. It's actually rad. No, oh, yeah. I would like to look like him. Yeah. Like a uh, Stay Puft in there. There you go. All right. Stick old Stay Puffed in my asshole over here. And uh, next. I'm going to chug on. Oh, you know what? While you're doing that. Yeah, chug on a little drink. Guy. I forgot to do this in my section. Oh, yeah. So uh, I forgot that I. I didn't forget I had them there. There were just under 10 million things. Can't really see it in there, but it's a uh, uh, Harley Quinn. Uh, fuck, what is this? Rebirth? New 52? No. God damn it. What do I always forget? Rebirth, right? Yeah, I think so. So there you go. Little statue. Little statue. And that's actually been out for a long time, and I. Wanted to get it, but then, uh, you know, circumstances didn't allow it, and then uh, they had it on pre-order, so I was, um, for smaller shops, so I just did it. Well, given that I just broke something earlier, I'm not going to take this out. Yeah, please don't. This is uh, actually like a porcelain figure, I believe. Uh, so maybe you can see the design here, but it's, it's kind of like this oh. couture series. It's Harley Quinn in this like elaborate dress. It's actually a pretty cool statue, but uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to include those. Plus one black, like that cool reference. Yeah, Forcing Black's career is nothing. Yeah, might as well be on this fucking channel. I bet you we could get her. Probably. Um, I bang. We got and bang too. We got uh, the Max. The Max. The Hollow Boy, Boy figure. 
Yeah, this was the McFarlane Max figure. Now he comes with Izzes. Tons of Izzes. Why do I only have three? Wasn't there four Izzes? There is four Izzes. What the hell? It wasn't up there. Good one, guy. Great. Huh? How do you move stuff so much? No, here? the guy hadn't moved it since you put it up there. I don't know, guy. Oh, anyway, man. here we go. Man. First time in a full year. <laughs> maybe it's it. Maybe it is. Remember, it is the classic uh, singer that was in a pool. It was Mad Dead. He was a pretty cool guy. That's serious. He was a pretty cool guy. Yeah. You think he urinated in his pool? Oh, he forgot this. By the way, this uh, tiny. Wait a minute, guy. I thought you got Iron Maiden. No. Oh, okay. That one was too expensive. Oh, that's right. This very tiny Mega Death pin. It was super cheap. I don't even know if it's visible at all. I have all. a pin collection and it was cheap. I wanted the Myron Maiden one. What is it? But I'm not going to pay 10 bucks for a pin, dude. What's the most you paid for a pin? Probably like 5 or 6 bucks. And it has to be a good one, guy. What's a good one? I don't know, like a big boy? Big pin? Yeah, like a big pin. Maybe like a Misfits boy. I'd buy like 6 bucks for that. I got a Mad Shark. There's a lot of sharks in this box, in this uh, hall. Yeah. Right, because of all the piss that they have to swim, yeah. <laughs> swim in. It's their environment. Boom. From Raw 10. Which I didn't get. Toys with I you. Didn't. Took you. So long. Always. Yeah. You still haven't gotten it why it's called Raw, Raw 10. 10. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Mega corny ass shark. I got uh, Saigor also. I got this when uh, he was still a little hard to find. Now he's literally flooding the streets. Yeah, people are reselling this for... Hundreds of dollars. Yeah, like I almost got. Well, I didn't almost get it, but when I wanted it, uh, there's people selling them for like ninety bucks, and now you can't get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's so many of them. I could go get one right now and go get one every day from now to like I don't know ten years, and there'll still be some left over. Yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, I want to give a special shout out to the Mad Dookie log. <laughs> Mad Dookie figure from McFarlane. Uh, their best series yet. Definitely, definitely uh, fits the uh, Odeur in here. Here, now you have a new box to oh, put shit in. guy, hold on. Yeah, this is actually a, a detriment to what I'm doing here. Hold on. Okay. Give me a second here, guy. Okay, I'm going to shove this into this piss pool over here first. Then oh. I can move that over here. All right, give me. Boom. Put a little Saigor in there in his little cage. I guess that was it. Well, we got uh, <laughs> Dr. Seuss Valentine's. Like this doesn't count, but uh, Dr. Seuss Valentine's indeed. We got this cute uh, dog box that looks like our dogs. Yeah, yeah. This uh, we found at a. Uh, what happened to the other dog guy? Oh man, he fell out. Well, he's here somewhere. Anyway, we have dogs that look exactly like these. Yeah. The one that's missing is probably taken by the one that looks like it. Yep. She tends to fucking steal everything. She's right there laying. Currently just laying there. <laughs> Super cute looking guy. Alright, then we got the, puncher. the big boy. Now this uh, is going to have its own video uh, video, and kind of our history with the, with the, with the Toxic Avenger as a property. But uh, this was <laughs> the most I've spent for a freaking figure. And I don't regret it for once. Uh, thankfully, this was not on urine because I would have been mad. Uh, and it's the Toxic Crusader Toxie from Super 7. Man, imagine if your urine... I would have been pissed, guy. pools were all up in this bitch. I would freaking rip my own nuts off. Come on, guy. Try to light it and the fucking battery pops out. Good one. This is, dude, this is the best prepared thing ever. Yeah. Man, urine everywhere. I still can't believe the urine debacle was a thing. Dude, urine gate? Wait, was it piss gate? Piss gate. Oh, holy shit. Damn, homie. Oh, it's time to time to do uh, yeah. uh, Serbian Joker Pennywise. Oh, yeah. You know, Night of Devil. Who does that and yeah. thinks it's cool? Yeah, that's too bright. Oh, yeah. there you go. We do have a video coming up on this. And, on uh, your channel, specifically? Yeah. And, I think it's going to be pretty fun, guy. Well, yeah, I'm just saying. It's on your channel. Yeah, I'm just saying. All right. I'm just cool. saying because that last Iron on Earth video was pretty... It was a video, I mean. Was it? I think we gotta go with a little more entertaining than informative because when we go informative, it's kind of bland. Is it? A little bit. Uh, now this one, you would think, come on, homie, is that freaking soaking urine? No. Uh, it's actually no, it's water. I was taking it down from where I had it, and it fell in the dog water. AKA dog urine. Yeah, that's what I call urine, okay? 
So yes, unfortunately, my Dollar Tree Dr. Seuss, Seuss, Seuss calendar found the dog water. And uh, here we go, quick, uh, quick boy, quick, mm -hmm. uh, quick fire, I guess. I forgot these were in here. Uh, we got a couple of tapes that I got and I cut out. We got Men we in got Black. Our, uh, the our classic black. story of me making them watch through the credits to see that uh, awesome uh, Will Smith uh, uh, music video that uh, Marcus still brings up. Got Total Recall. Total Recall. Uh, Lizard of Oz, yeah, the pretty... uh, lesser known sequel. Pretty good. That one was so old that I didn't even have to cut it. It dude. just, it just fell, fell off. Excalibur, one of my favorites. Never seen it, but it has a cool cover. Love it. Dune. Same, never seen it. One of David Lynch's movies that is also one of his least favorites. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so this is one of the greatest. This is one of the worst covers of all time. Nothing is in focus in this cover. Uh, I think there's actually a freaking AVGM video where he goes off on this freaking cover. Because look at it. Nothing makes sense on it. We got, uh, uh, let me see, we got some fire in the front. But somehow in front and behind the fire is Megalon. Yeah. And he's small in scope compared to a looming, transparent uh, Godzilla in the back. That is covered by everything else. <laughs> that Godzilla looks like a mad model guy. Yeah, it does. And, uh, yeah, and, yeah, somehow he's juxtaposed, backslash, interweaved into buildings. Yeah. So that's a thing. This was, I believe, one of the ones that's public domain. So you'll see a lot of weird covers for it mm. in releases. This was a Good Times one, I think. This is, a uh, pretty um, simple covers. Classic. And classic, Godfather 1 and 2. <laughs> Damn it. Another of worst, worst, yeah, worst covers of all time. Worst films of all time. Yeah. Well, Piece of mm. shit, that's for sure. There you go. So there you go with and, those and, uh, lame ass things. Uh, let's hit these uh, sticker boys up. We got a, that mad poop log. We got this homemade Sam I Am sticker I made. Homemade Sam I Am. We got, uh, I know I've shown these before, but since we're going through my stickers, let's go uh, Goontick, uh, classic, available now Get it at the, the shop. shop. Uh, the old $10 Slammer. $10 Slammer. I uh, noticed there's a lack of Ahab sticker. The Ahab sticker. Oh, yeah. shit. Ahab sticker. Yeah, we got our dog that definitely pissed on my Kong. Uh, we got the tick. <laughs> These I just made. I don't know why they're in here. <laughs> okay, this one was made by a friend of mine. Uh, if you wanted, if you like birds, check out her shop. So there you go. I know that's... This was like really fine lines. Yeah, it's a cockatoo smoking a mad... Uh, J, which I think is pretty rad. Yeah. Um, Kaka J. I like who you, you said to check out her shop, but then didn't plug it. Well, uh, well, it's kind of, it's on Redbubble. I'll put the link. Okay. Uh, okay. By the way, we have plans of moving our shop to Redbubble because they have higher quality shirts. I'll try to put the, I'll try to put the stuff up and we can update it. Man, this underlining is not flattering. That's bad, dude. What is this? I'm about this front load. Ah! Man, man, that's a really powerful... Yeah. Anyway, uh, we got uh, fight, fight milk. milk. Uh, mm. with, not with 100% protein. Uh, we got... Oh, this is another one of her stickers. It's cute. Love bites. I'm not a big uh, birdite, but she does a lot of bird stuff, and she is talented, so, you know, there you go. Uh, uh, trash man. <laughs> with, with the classic quote, I eat garbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, another... Uh, uh, old, old time fight milk uh, ad here with uh, a very pugilistic stance going on there. Yeah, those are cool. Um, I got all those on Redbubble. You know, it was just people put up their fan art and you can buy shit. Um, and then last up, we got these Hulk. <clears throat> these reprint of uh, this is the Hulk. What was this? The Gray Hulk return? Yeah, it was one issue. of the. And then you have the framed one that you were using right now. That's the other one you got me. Oh, yeah. Let me get that. Found these at a shop. Yeah, so I have the old school reprint and then the return of the Grey Hulk, which is cool. They're all the, they're the same cover, just with different art style, obviously. And then the first appearance of What's Your Face? Oh, Poison Ivy. I'm going with that. And this. Oops. And this. Yep. And here's your damn protein. My protein, yeah. And uh, you have these over here. Good one, guy! So that one was uh, 
Batman, his best adventures that's now on the floor. <laughs> Come on, guys. Thankfully not in a um, pool of fucking urine. Damn, homie. I'm, I'm devastated. Need some medicine for your urine. I do. But you did find this at, uh, what's it called? Five, Five Below. Below. Justice League, their greatest triumphs. A little compilation, I guess. Dude, it might be on urine. Nah, it's not on urine, guys. In case you're wondering, there's a fucking dog pamper on the floor. Yeah. These damn dogs. We have a situation with the dogs, all right? Yeah, the big. We have a big dog, and uh, it's incredibly jealous. Well, really, it's this small. Guy, yeah, come here. The one that made an appearance earlier. Yeah, the, that one that made an appearance earlier uh, is stubborn, and refuses to accept that her lot in life has changed. Yeah, that she's not in command anymore. So she fights back. So she fights back, but she's fucking tiny, and so the big dog. Of course, they're just dogs that you know it attacks, and. Uh, well, you know, that's not good no. if you want to, your dogs to live. So they all have to stay in my room, which is now, unfortunately, piss-filled. Now, you might be wondering, why don't you take them out? I do, and they still piss yeah, in this room. Yeah, like, especially that one that appeared earlier. She has possibly the biggest bladder, I uh, think, known to man. Mm -hmm. uh, and she just made mad, mad oceans, you know what I mean? Dude, that piss is incredibly large. So it stinks, literally, sometimes. Next, we had a Flashpoint. Featuring Bat. Man, that is. Yeah, nope. this is the one that collects all the Batman ones. I think there's like some off... Like if there's a dead man one in there too. Mm -hmm. This one was in yours, but you didn't mention it. So here it is, Under the Hood. Batman's Red Hood. Now, I keep calling it Under the Hood. I say keep calling it because I've... Every time I mention it, that's what I call it. Because that's what the actual story is called. It's just what this re-release to call it Under the Red Hood. Makes sense. It's just kind of weird. And then here we have our Dark Victory... Yeah, mm. which is a sequel to Long Halloween. I never knew that that existed. Uh, this is the Nora version, which kind of sucks. It doesn't suck because it's cool. It's a cool version, but it sucks that it's going to be the first time I read it. It's going to be an altered version. But it was super cheap, and I do like the Nora version, so yeah. it's cool. Pretty cool. So I think that's it, right? Yep. There you go, man. Pissgate so, happened. Pissgate happened. Uh, oh, Mad dude. Literal up. turds made an appearance, you know. This was a thing we did, guys. Yeah. This never ever get behind on <laughs> these halls ever again. Yeah, homie. Hate it. I kinda liked it. It was fun. It was disastrous. Well, I mean it wasn't fun to set up, but it was a fun little time, good. You know my favorite part was when the urine was I made dude, a I liked, cameo appearance. Yeah, I liked when I literally almost murdered you on screen because yep. you freaking rubbed rancid urine, knowingly so, mm -hmm. on my brand new, not brand new, but clean shirt. Mm -hmm. I, was, I gotta admit, I was kind of proud of that move too. That I was like Kobe. <laughs> yeah, mommy. Rip. Oh yeah, rip. Of course. Yeah, rip. Okay, come on. Anyway, uh, too soon. A boom. All right, this is my portion of. The figures and collectibles. Hall, let's start off with something fucking tragic, guy. Oh, dude, you did this. Mad tragic. Okay, look, if you're not familiar with action figures, but if you're watching this, you probably are, then there is a brand called Mezco that makes uh, 112 scale figures, which is basically like a 6 cent scale figure. But they're 100 bucks each. Yeah. Because they're mad detailed, you know, they got real clothing. They look really good. They're worth the money if you can spend the money. I can't spend the money. No. I just happened to put on layaway and they take forever to release them so I could pay it in time. I finally get this fucking thing. Years I take later. It, yeah. I, eons later even. And I'm like, hell yeah. Because it's Harley. Which I have a huge Harley Quinn collection. And I was like, hell yeah, this is going to be awesome. And it is an awesome figure. It's gorgeous, even. Uh, so here's the figure in, in, in one of the, its iterations. Uh, you can, of course, because it is a $100 figure, you can change the head, swap out all the stuff, and, and just it, it just look cool. It's got a bunch of accessories. Uh, but you know what the first thing happened? You know, you can swap out the hands. Yeah. The first thing that happened with my massive mitts was... Damn. <laughs> I tore off her fucking head, guy! <laughs> the peg was so tight. That my massive mitts just tore that son of a bitch off, yeah, man. Homie. It's so like when you broke uh, Nosferatu's head off. Only worse, Nosferatu was fucking like what, fourteen bucks. Fourteen yeah. bucks. This bitch was a hundred bucks. Um, that I was just like, oh my god! I felt my nuts sink into my body cavity. Oh. Um, it just a, sucked. Was it a cavity? Your body has a fucking cavity. What's that? What do you think your organs are in? 
I guess that's a good point. That's a good way to look at it. I'm looking at it. You're like, McCavity, McCavity. Oh, stinky ass McCavity. He stunk, eh? Man, yeah, boning I think, all yeah, time. Well, that movie was really smelly to film, I think. Oh, uh, man. Uh, Judy Dench. Yeah. Judy Stench. It's more <laughs> like it. But yeah, more man. like Duty Stench. Am I right? the, the, the f- Dude. Mad Duty in those cat <laughs> in those cat suits. <laughs> Scat suits, um, they call them? Here's the thing with Mesco Fears, right, guys. Done. They don't... Uh, they don't make replacement pegs. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably so, like a third party guy, like on Etsy maybe. Okay. I already checked. So uh that's that's a bust on that arm, so I can jerry rig it to to at least look cool. Yeah. But uh, I know and it bothers me that yeah. I broke one little thing on a hundred dollar figure that rendered it fucking useless. Anyway, this is another super expensive figure. Again, I paid it the same way long term and uh, you know, so it didn't feel like I told jab into my fucking testes but this is the amazing yamaguchi uh harley quinn uh super super articulated so of course i put her in the stiffest pose possible i had a really hard time moving her fucking knee joint so i was like am i gonna break this fucking thing too i had to put a little soap in there guy and work that boy out i bet you it's still it's stiff again you lube that boy up i lube that boy up guy damn homie but it's really cool you can put it in all these fucking poses but now i'm kind of just afraid so i kind of put in this fucking kawaii ass pose and i hate that i said that yeah it's not good but it's a cool figure what do you rate it one i like it i mean i usually kind of dislike these figures me too i'm not a big anime Um, fan but it's actually not bad i don't hate what about that mesco broken ass arm one it's not my preferred harley look Hate but, it? I mean, it's a good fig, especially when his arms break. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I'm a big Z-Knight. I like the plunger in the back. Yeah, remember that time when Lucy Lawrence had a mad fucking uh, goiter, goiter. <laughs> goiter on her fucking back? <laughs> a back goiter. <laughs> yeah, made her go like that? Yeah. Um, these are Toy Biz figures from the 90s of Xena, or your princess. And, uh, you know, uh, sculpting nowadays with figures is pretty impressive. But back then, it was ass. Yeah, it wasn't good. So I got to say, for a 90s figure, it actually achieves the look pretty well. I'm actually kind of shocked at that. Um, but I'm Mad Z-Knight, and I, I used to have these, and I was like, oh, man, I'm going to try to get those again. And I did. I got that one. And, of course, uh, the time that uh, Xena stood and she in hold, an action. She, she hold a turd. Show. Yeah, yeah holding a turd. Yeah, that's my favorite Xena. Uh moment <laughs> she's holding that turd in so hard yeah man uh speaking of xena remember when uh it wasn't xena but lucy lawless yeah, super lucy guy <laughs> on uh the simpsons but she was clearly xena because she could fly yeah <laughs> uh they made a simpsons uh figure of that and uh you know i had to pick it up man pretty rad guy you got it for mad cheap too yep i got it for nathan this we saw at a Walmart, and I was like, "Damn, I gotta get that, man!" Yeah. Of course, I'm a big Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan. I, even though I have gotten rid of some of my most prized pieces in my collection, they were big pieces. Yeah, big boys. So I, I'm kind of concentrating on just smaller pieces now. And this, like your peen, his. Well, yeah, that, that's actually what I took after. I was like, <laughs> "Damn, boy, I can't have big ass things next to me." Um, so. It looks like a knit figure, like yeah. a, one of those, you know, knitted little dolls. But uh, it's it's made of vinyl, I guess. And uh, it's Leatherface, man. It's pretty cute. Never thought I'd say that about Leatherface. Uh, but, I don't know, I thought it was just cool looking, man. So mm-hmm. I had to pick that up. There's uh, a there's a mad uh, Stay Puft that I want to get mm-hmm. from this line. Pretty cute, too. P-coot. 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 Super perverted. Yeah, it's not good. Damn, pee, pee, pee's on your coot. He wants a pika. This is a thing. Where'd you find this? Walmart. Walmart Wahlberg? Yeah. Uh, Mark Walmart. Bar? Bar, bar. Nope. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this is one of like the tiki style uh, figures. They they, they, had, they made others, but of course I'm a Quinite, so uh, I don't know if you got this or mom got this, but it's cool as hell. It's hideous. That's really ugly. But uh, I dig it, man. That one actually is cool, though. There was also a Wonder Woman that was just hideous. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it looked like a dude, homie. So, uh, so far we have like a weird uh, kind of like retro style helmeted Harley Quinn that cost too much money. And you broke, and broke instantly, yeah. Thus rendering it useless. Yes, uh, an anime style Harley Quinn. Uh, 
Mad hideous tiki. Gruesome, Quinn. And uh, I think the most loyal one to the comics is is this uh, time. Remember that time when her head split open? <laughs> that was my first time. I mean, I guess you could say in a way her split head was split open. But not this way. No, definitely not that way. Classic moment, guy. Yeah. Um, Mad head. This is a, a pop-ups lollipop thing. Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes... You or apparently mom in this kitchen will get me things oh, that I'm like. Oh, me, guy. I was like, you gotta get him this. <laughs> I'm like, damn it! Now I have to put that in my collection. Yeah. But this is actually like, a, I guess, a fair head, I guess, except for the fact that it splits in twain. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's part of my Harley collection now. Yeah. So that's a thing, guy. He's like, Mr. J. Hello, Mr. J. I'm an idiot. Damn, that was me. Yeah, that wasn't good. Oh my god, I can't believe I found this guy. Dude, I... Ah. Look, man, the mad scalp situation is bad for these figures. Yeah. But here, it's like... It's horrid, guy. Exponentially You're awful. never gonna find anything. Yeah, here... In the, the second we see anything on a shelf, we, like, basically fillet ourselves. Because it's never gonna happen again, so we kind of have to take advantage of it. Yeah, here... And then we're like, shit, we don't have the money for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We live on the border, so we have to... Put up with American scalpers, American toy collectors, uh, Mexican scalpers, and Mexican toy collectors. Yeah. And they all buy more than one. Hundreds, guys. So, uh, Rogue, of course, is my favorite X-Men. And they re-released the retro-style one, only with this modern scope. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta get that. And it was fine off the shelves. People were literally selling their children to get it. Yeah, it wasn't good. And I was like, well, I'm fucked. And I wanted the Gambit, too. Didn't find the Gambit, but... I attained the rogue. Yes. And she's way better than the Marvel Legends version. I saw some homie recently was like, oh, this one sucks compared to the old one. Hell no. The head on the Marvel Legends one sucks. My nut compared to this. Just a great. I love that. I, that I actually what about the booty guy? She's got a little booty. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, it's better than the, than the Diamond Select Dude, one. That was inverted booty. That was a cavity of a booty if I ever saw one. Kabooty? Yeah, my cavity was in there. I was like, damn, homie. He was like, my cavity guy? Yeah. Speaking of cavities. Gross. Uh, you got a bunch of them and your mouth stinks. Yeah, I do. You're like, my tooth. And I'm like, dude, get that face, guy. Cut to me him, no teeth. <laughs> anyway, uh, this was a box set that I wanted, but it was always, I mean, they're 50 bucks because there's two of them. Yeah. And you were like, no, guy, don't get that. I'm like, I can't, you fool. I don't even have one cent to my name, but I wanted. Okay. Uh, but then... I saw it at the mall for 23 bucks. Yeah. And tax. This led to the infamous story that is now up on our channel of the kid urinating upon himself. Yeah, yeah. The infamous fucking annoying ass looking kid that pissed himself, grabbed his nuts. Mictorated him. Excessive even. force. <laughs> um, that's what I was in line to buy. And it's this right here. It's the Thor Ragnarok uh, box set of Scourge. And, or Boy Call Urban, by the way. Boy Call Urban. And uh, Hella. Now this, I have a Hella that the first Hella they released, but this one has the correct, where is she? This one has the correct face yeah. sculpt. This one has her hand like this instead of like this. Yeah, it has three heads, first of all. Uh, but on, 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 it doesn't have, the one they released previously had the comic book Hella, you know, like face paint, which is cool, don't get me wrong. But uh, this was a little bit more accurate to the screen version, so I was like, I gotta get that one too. And plus, fucking Scourge, guys. So, boom. For half the price? Sick, yeah, man. Jump on that. Speaking of, what the hell is going on, guys? Just the box, boy. Rip my box, guy. It's my precious box. Is it? Oh, yeah, man. I paid zero dollars for it. Let's get these pops out of the way because they're just like there, ready to be crushed. Um, this is fucking cool. I've never seen uh, Kraft merchandise. The Kraft, as in the night, late 90s witch movie. Um, so that they made pops out of them. It's pretty fucking cool. So here we have Rochelle. A.K.A. the, the black girl nobody talks about. What is Whenever that? they get back together. I don't know, guy. Yeah. What is that? <clears throat> Rarely do you see them get together back with her. For the longest time, I always thought it was just three chicks. Damn, homie. I'm serious. Because isn't she not on the cover? No, she's on the cover. Damn. Yeah, that's, well, that's on me then. They didn't Winston her <laughs> yeah. like Ghostbusters. <laughs> that's on me then. Yeah. Here we have, of course, uh, Sarah, aka Robin Tooney's character. So that's cool. And uh, 
They didn't put her dimple on there, but, uh, you know, it's a pop. Here we have Nev, disappointing tits Campbell character, uh, Bonnie. And them tits was tragic, guy. Eh? She yeah. should have never unveiled them. The tragic tit. Mega tragic tits. And Troubles them. with tragic tits. And here we have Nancy, a.k.a. Feruza. Mega emaciated nowadays. Yeah. Bulk. It's kind of weird. Uh, she needs more bulk. Yeah, she definitely needs more bulk in her bulk. Yeah. So, uh, I think they should release a figure of fucking Nancy at the very least. But for now... That pops. This is pretty cool. I actually pre-ordered these just to make sure that I got them. Just pathos. <laughs> That's pretty lame, guy. I love the craft, man. You liked it too, don't you? I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was pretty like, this is less cringy than I thought it was going to be. Damn, homie. You were like mad sucking it off, and now you're like, it's less cringy. Damn, well, it's because I expected it to be cringy, guy. That's true. And then it wasn't, and I was like, like oh, everybody right, did. it's less cringy. And then everybody was like, damn, homie, it's pretty good. Yeah. So, um... Look, man, I haven't yeah. seen the show, but I, of course, love the the movies, or at least the first two. The hit films. Uh, and I am a king collector. Yeah. A cool king collector, yeah, if you will. Super cool king collector. So we have here, oh, The Creep. Now, this is from the show, but I think it'll fit right in with my king collection. Plus, if the show ends up kicking ass, I haven't seen it. Uh, that'll be cool, too. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool pop, guy. I actually kind of want the figure, too. He's got a little book reading it. I think this one fits more like you could just be like, that's the creep from the movie. Yeah. Whereas the show one, it looks too much like the show one. You know, it's... Looks... You're just hating, guy. No, it just... It doesn't pass for me. Damn, homie. As the old school creep. You're like, fuck that shit. Damn, a guy hating everything. I'm not... I'm just saying it doesn't pass for the old school creep. Okay, I think the moment your head split open Harley style and you spit venom... Yeah, mad venom. <laughs> <laughs> Matt eight. You guy, you gotta spit some hate at this dude, guy. This is corny guy. This is not corny guy. When you got this shit. It was super gay, dude. You know I'm a fucking archite. Shit, I homie. got Archie and Jughead. Classic. And I course, gotta say, I gotta say, Betty and Veronica. Though I'm an anti archite, uh, I'm 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 at least happy that you got the classic Archies. Because if you would have gotten the Riverdale ones, it would have been mad gay. I wanted the Riverdale ones, but I'm glad that the originals were actually released. Yeah. And that I actually got to get them. It was... I came so close to always getting the Riverdale ones, but there was always one missing. And I was yeah. like, God damn it. And then I found all four of these. I was like, ah, oh, man. You know I gots to get that. And gots I did. Fortunately, it also meant that uh, I had to even out the corn factor in my pop collection. Yeah. And... Uh, there's only one way to do that. It's by getting a mad badass like fucking Lemmy himself. Yeah, I hope it's still there when we go back. Dude, Lemmy's a fuck. Look, you don't even have to like Motorhead. Yeah, it's true. To understand the innate badassness that is Lemmy. Yeah. Lemmy gave zero shits. Lemmy was a trendsetter. Oft imitated. Had mad war? Had a mad ass war and rocked it. Mutton chops. Wore suits that made no sense. Played chess with fucking Pinhead dude. and one. <laughs> dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Add to that. That Motorhead fucking rocks. Lammy guy. Super glad I saw this. Uh, or actually you saw it. I completely missed it. Yeah, super You're like, dude. And I was like, <laughs> I get that. And then like a week later we went back and I saw one wanted it but ended up not getting it for some you reason. You said you were going to get a frog guy. And then... <laughs> Why did I not go back for Lamb? Yeah, guy, I was like, a minute. Even you realized it later. You're yeah, like, I was like, a minute. I was going to get a damn frog guy. Now, that time, though, uh -huh. the frog guy, though, you didn't get. Yeah. Uh, you did spot this. And I was like, oh, that's... At first, I was kind of trying to... You are hating a little. Yeah. But then I was like, damn it. It's the war pig. Of course, the classic um, mascot, I guess I'm you want to call it. I'm not going to guy. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a mad dog. I, mean, I can see he why looks you kind of like that. a pit yeah. bull, you know. I can see why you would think that. It's foolish, but I could see. <laughs> Does that not look like a pit bull in the back? Show it. I guess, man. That looks like a pit bull with like flames coming out of his mouth. I guess. I mean, there's no literally no flames, but like I thought the horns were like a damn like flame, you know, like a stylized flame. That's that a... looks more like a pit bull than it a pig. Doesn't look like a pit bull. It looks more like a fucking normal long nosed canine. Not nah, pit bull. Guy. Like a wolf or some yeah, shit. I'm like. But it's definitely not that. It's a fucking hog like us. Yeah, anyway. War hog. Yeah. War yeah. Pig. The war pig, man. Apparently he has a body. 
and uh, an axe. So that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so we got that. So uh, that's cool, man. You know, a little fucking pig, a little fucking war. Um, a little fucking Benny Veronica. BMV. BMV. And then I got a call from uh, the Lesbos, and they were like, yo, some more shit that you pre-ordered came in. And I was like, all right, some shit, all right. See what's good. Let's see what's going on here. And it's this de- uh, deceased Harley. Now, uh, if you glance at her here from a distance, yeah. you're going to be like, that's just a normal-ass Harley. Yeah, how do you? Uh, definitely not how she looked on any of the deceased covers. But uh, they got the zombification. Oh, come on. It's <laughs> just a few scars. Come on, guys. It's like little slits. So, um, it is like, a cool fucking statue, though. I feel like if I were a deceased fan, I'd be like, what is this? But as a Harlite, I would be like, hell yeah. Yeah, it's a cool fucking fig. Like, it's got mad booty? It's, got, it's yeah. like that one frame in Injustice 2 where her ass grows like 15 freaking times. Yeah, what is that, guy? It's weird, right? I'm not complaining, but what I is that? I feel like you animated that move. Probably. This is just a cool looking fig. I do wish it was more zombified. Um, when I ordered it, I could have sworn the picture had like a rod on it, yeah, but uh, I guess slits, guys. unless there's a fucking variety or some shit. So she's got little, little barely visible little scars Can't on her even face. See him, guy. But it's a cool ass looking statch, if you will. <sighs> um, snatch statch. No, I don't know if you've unboxed yours. Nah, homie. Okay, well we're gonna unbox this. It's barely gonna be visible because it's got like this shell on it. Yeah. But this is Mesco's King Kong Mad Ape non one twelve version. And uh, we're Same gonna figure. unbox that on your channel, yeah. and you got one too. There you go. Yeah, this, these came out like I think the original one came out like a year or two ago. We saw it at Fye, and it was like one forty something. Yeah. And it was basically just because it had the one twelve name on it, because this is basically the same figure, and it was what thirty bucks, forty bucks. Mm-hmm. Forty. So it was, yeah, that was weird. And it's a great looking fig. It's got a little, I guess, Faye Ray esque. Figure to put in his arm it or was, hand. This stood right next to the NECA one, which just made the NECA one look like pure shit. Yeah, that NECA one's pitiful, man. Them arms, guy. None of them are official because, yeah. you know, I guess they don't want to pay for it and they could just make a fucking monkey. You're mad, eh? But this one looks great. The NECA one looks like a long arm dumbass. <laughs> Brian Longcar style. <laughs> long arm. So, anyway. The strong arm, guy. We're going to unbox that on your channel. Yeah. Or you are, I don't know, we're both, whatever. The point is. I'm gonna actually take that out of yeah. the package because you're gonna break one, it instantly. I don't ever. Yeah, probably. I'll never see myself selling it. I already sold one King Kong, and was, I hated that I did. It was that. good, guy. It was great. It, that one was an officially licensed yeah. King Kong, so it looked like the King Kong in the original one, and had Fay Ray, and he was on display. It was great, and I had to sell it because you know needed money. I hate that I did that, but now I have a cool ass looking King Kong. Guy, I found this guy. I know you were mad, like, damn it. And I was like, yep. I'm gonna have to fucking shell out for these guys. Really, guy? Oh, you suck ass, guy. Ooh. This sucks. Ooh. Look, like, at one point, I was gonna buy the freaking Jericho one. Because I'm a Jerichoite, even though he's a mad rep. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't get it. And then I could never find him again. So I was just like, I'm not going to get any of these. Except for these two. These were the two exceptions I was going to make because I'm like, oh, most of y'all fools. Most here of I go y'all again. Fools. Yeah, here I go again. Standing up on my pedestal. We were fans of these fools when they were on like Lucha Underground and shit. Yeah. So and they're, based, they're literally the same characters in AEW. So it was just kind of like a cool fig to get. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Italy never stocked on Walmarts ever. And people, then you found one guy of each. Yeah, people just fucking these things. I know these things are selling like wildfire everywhere. The, the AEW figures, no, everywhere. But you gotta understand, man. Uh, Mexican culture and lucha go hand mm-hmm. in hand. Mexican culture and wrestling go hand in hand, really. But uh, add to that the normal craze, and then and, and again the aforementioned two fucking nations and uh, right next to each other. Impossible to find somehow. And also that these are like impossible to find everywhere really. Yeah, that, on top of that, yeah. yeah. And then somehow managed to come across exactly the ones that I wanted which, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a triple whammy for me. You know, uh, these guys, of course, are lucha legends, as in Mexican lucha legends, especially Pentagon. And uh, 
you know, of course, we really enjoyed their work in Lucha mm. Underground, and now they're doing stuff in AEW and independently and in other promotions. So it's a, maybe even a quadruple whammy. I think it is a quadruple guy. Love, 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 love these, man. I don't think I ever really um, wanted any other figures, save maybe the Jericho like you. But um, definitely can live without Jericho, but these are fuck. I mean, I can live without these, but it's awesome that I actually got to yeah. see them. I hate it. I'm the glad only... you didn't spot him first because uh, I, I wouldn't that. have been argued. Like, yeah, man, I mean, that's uh, a finder situation. The, the only one that seems to be somewhat, I say easy to find, but it really isn't. The one that we spotted multiple times is... Uh, Ray? No, the, what's his name? Um, Goldust? What's his name? What's his name? Dusty Rhodes? Yeah, yeah, him. Old the Dust? Yeah. That's the only one that we've seen in the shelves. Several times, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's mad tall. Yeah. yeah. That figure. I mean, I know he's tall, but holy shit. Damn, homie. Um, so you got these two. We're kind of going to double whammy it. Um, this is uh, the Flash and Batman Earth 52 from uh, the multiverse. Uh, DC multiverse from McFarlane. Yeah. The infamous with, uh, figure that came with a bow leg. It also came with this huge dookie log mad that you log. can stand them on. Yeah. It's fucking a huge turd, guy. It's an empty turd looking thing that you're supposed to stand them on uh suffice it to say you don't stand them on that you're not homie um i'm hoping to get a shelf so i can display all these because honestly these boxes are humongous yeah and really you know there's build a figures and all that shit right. so yeah how else are you going to display your cool ass vehicle that came in the first series oh super cool vehicle yeah it's just a mad ride um so here we have Oh my god, man! I had saved money so that I could uh, oh, this was a do thing. several things. Yeah. One uh, to get you a birthday present, which is looking incredibly dire. I also, I also love, by the way, that uh, I helped you out with buying one of these figures. Mm -hmm. uh, you were checking out, and you're like, "Well, look, goes your birthday." I'm like, "Damn, homie." <laughs> To be fair, need I remind you? I basically had to pay to lose a birthday present. The, need I remind you? The Chinese restaurant Guy, situation. that was the best present ever. Horrid. Anyway, uh, I found... Uh, the, you had previously found them, so this is kind of a double whammy. Yeah, yeah. I have these, you have these. There's a video on my channel about them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, check that out. But uh, I, I found these, all four of them, somehow. Uh, Wonder Woman. Last night on Earth, Wonder Woman. She also has got the mad black cheek. She also has the cheek that you had, yeah. unfortunately. Does she have the mohawk? Problem? Uh, I can't tell really. Uh, Omega, yeah. boom, and uh, this is gonna get a little hairy here. We have uh, Scarecrow, boom. They all come with a piece of Bane yeah. that makes this massive Bane. If you want to see what it looks like put together, check out his video. And then this cool okay. ass looking. Uh, so, uh, now that more people have started to get these, uh, or, you know, in their shelves and thus in their hands, uh, it has come out that that loose hand, mm -hmm. mad common. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm A lot of people getting that loose hand, and the bane is causing mad problems for people. In terms of putting it together? Yeah. Yep, I could see it. So that's the thing. I could see it, man. That motherfucking shit was damn near impossible mm -hmm. to fucking... Look at much more put together. <laughs> so there was that, and of course, previously I had uh, found a guy locally that was selling an entire set of the, uh, the what is it, the, the Metal Knights? Yeah. We got uh, Batman Earth One, this Doomsday esque looking Earth Negative One. Oh, sorry, yes, Earth Negative One. Doomsday is looking ass bat. Yeah. Super unpainted back. Still pretty hard to find. Is it? Yeah, that's the one of the ones that's still pretty hard to find. Because I wanted to get another one to make him a Doomsday boy. Earth uh, 32, negative 32. R relatively easy to find now. It's kind of like a Green Lantern esque mm -hmm. bat. Mad douchebag in the comic. Uh, so that. That one. And we got uh, the Grim Knight, which I know is being peddled. Yeah. Like wildfire out there. Our our local GameStop has had one for like a whole month, and I kind of want it. I have these, by the way. I also got these. They're not gonna be on my haul. So there you go. Yeah, well, they covered. weren't on my haul. We don't even know how this is gonna be ordered. 
covering both yep. here. Batman Earth Native Force 4. This one's really easy to find. Yeah. My prediction was Cyborg is going to be easy to find. Cyborg? Yeah, the Cyborg one. Still is. I mean, he's not? The animated Cyborg? No, that one. That's oh, the Cyborg bat. I thought you meant Cyborg as in Cyborg. The animated Cyborg? Yeah, I feel like that one's still pretty easy to find, too. Yeah. I agree. Uh, okay, so we have, moving on, this that you found at our Walgreens, right? Yeah, guy. Cobra Commander, the classic Cobra Commander, all <laughs> Ks. Yeah. Boom. Now, I wish I could find Baroness, but I think by this point it's an impossibility. These motherfucking things are selling insane, yeah, guy. dude. People shanking each other in the streets there's, for them. There's so many shanks going on. But I'm glad this is the original uh, Cobra Commander. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, I only really wanted four figures. That's Snake Eyes, uh, Scarlet, uh, Baroness, and, and Cobra Commander. Saw Scarlet once, and man, that translucent skin, though. Yeah, it was like super wide, like, right? Oh, man, that sucks. But, um, yeah, man, hopefully one day I'll find Baroness. Uh, but if I don't, who gives a shit? I got fucking Cobra Commander. This is one of the many villains in the 80s cartoons that went... <laughs> What was that? I don't know, but it's a good chuckle, I gotta say. Yeah. Crones. It's a good voice. Oh my god, there's so many. Come on. Um, okay. Found this at a Target. This is another oh, one man. that's become hard to find. Uh, Deathstroke. Yeah, and that's super gay pose. Super weird pose. This is gonna be in mine, or was already in mine, because mine has a gay-ass hand on the box. Oh yeah. yeah it's like, damn, homie. You haven't taken it out of the box? No, I haven't, I haven't opened any of my shit. Here we have the... Shockingly. Uh, this is the ones that built the Merciless. The Builder figure was yeah. the Merciless. So we have a Batman. A video I was going to make, but didn't. Batman right Good there. Good story, huh? Riveting guy. Uh, I'll tell you what. If you want, if, uh, if if you haven't gotten that Merciless wave, you're screwed by now, by the way. But if you haven't and you plan to, get ready for your hands to be destroyed because mm. of all the spikes and the hardness of the joints. Man, that sucks. Dude, it hurts so bad. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. So here's some spikes included with his Batman Who Laughs winged version. Cool fig. I got it. Really cool fig. So, uh, let me see. Uh, Tastes like figs. Here's a, this one is causing people to literally murder themselves and their families because there's three variant heads and they just come randomly packed per figure. So there, I've seen literal black markets rise on the internet of people trading heads. Nations crash. Yeah, it's like, damn, homie. Yeah, Robin Earth, negative 22. We got, we both got the same head, so we didn't shank each other. A.K.A. the Crow Robins. I want to give a shit. I just want one. I know there's that he normally uh, walks around with three of them, right? Yeah. But uh, that would be buying three figures. I'm not going to fucking do three figures of the same fucking shit. Fuck that shit, man. I probably would if I found them and I had the money. If I had the money and I found them, yes, I agree. Yeah. But I don't. You know, I'm lucky to have one, really. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Plus, you'd have three little boys. That's kind of gay. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? Yeah, that's Put not that good. What are you, Jared? Damn, bye. Bye? I mean, you're not wrong. Damn, bye? <laughs> that's what you said. Yeah, I'm questioning myself. Damn, homie. That's my job. You think Jared's like... Yeah, this is a thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure he has a freaking easy time in prison. Does he? Yeah, he probably owns like a bunch of dudes. No, nah, but... I bet you he's got an army in there, guy. No. Nah. There's only so far the That's, will that take was you. your that was your theory. I know I'm saying, but it's only so far the man will take you, guy. Only uh, so far. I don't know, guy. He's got that subway money. No, he doesn't anymore. That's a good uh, point. You know who else doesn't? Superman, Super Smiley Edition. This is uh. Why would he have subway money? What is this fucking uh Superman called? Uh, it's I don't know. It's like a one shot thing, I think. Infested Superman. Yeah. That's what it's called. It's it's infected. Infected. It's I'm not. Sorry. It's not from the Dark Knight Metal wave but it does weirdly fit into that wave so yeah demented looking soups pretty cool uh body on him yeah that's a, i've seen a lot of customs of people taking that bod and just like giving him the normal head and repainting it and it looks really good i wish they would be released superman with that bod knew it the first one was okay just want superman's bod that's just a better bod guy as a, as a beefcake fan, I mean, I appreciate it. I don't know if I've done these, but just in case. I think you did. Uh, Azrael. 
So it has armored. I don't think it did that one. Armored Batman. I mean, armored Adriel. Super cool looking. Oh, jeez. Batrail, they call him. So much jungle here, guy. Uh, the Joker from uh, Last uh, Day on Earth. Nope. No. That's from uh, White Knight. White Knight, yeah, that's right. I did a review on this whole wave. Check it out on my Chan Chan. Uh, and I know I mentioned these before. Uh, Wonder Woman, the Golden Armor yeah, one. From the hit film. From the super shit film. Man, that was a movie! It was pretty good. Uh, this here, Batman with uh, five high boots. Yeah. Uh, uh, five Man, I think they call him. Yeah. He's like, well, uh, this is a thing I'm wearing. This is his number one saying, yeah. I think. He's got the classic pose, the mid-ear duke drop that I trademarked on my video. I'm just pimping on my channel, by the way. I know I've mentioned this. Yeah. So, mad ignoring your pimps. Uh, long leg, uh, super gap in the waist, uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah, you're Wonder Woman's janky guy. Fuck. Anyway. That's the thing. So, uh, you found, uh, <laughs> oh, dude, Green Ghost? Now I got you the four Ghostbusters. Yeah. You had already gotten Green Ghost and, and, uh, that's right, Green fucking Ghost is what he's called. <laughs> Uh, the Green Ghost and, and Stay Puffed. And I was like, damn, I, I got fucked on those. Yeah, those we couldn't find them. They were really hard to find for a long time. But they actually restocked. Now, so, Stay I, Puffed. I feel like this was an unintentional restock. Like, maybe they had them in the back or something. Because the, all the one, the, the only ones that were out, there was only three of them. Two Green Ghosts, one Stay Puffed. And they were all kind of slightly damaged. Like, if you see your, your Stay Puffed has a crease. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, so I don't know if maybe they were just back there. Or they actually restocked, but those are the only ones that we've seen. Yeah. They still have 10 million of the Ghostbusters, zero Green Ghost and Stay Puffed. So. Classic Green Ghost. Uh, the Classic Green Ghost edition is my favorite. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty awesome um, that that actually showed up again, period. Yeah. Uh, so there's that, and then I got these final things. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. First up is uh, it's this. Yeah. You might be thinking, oh, it's got like a cool dark angel it's looking, like a thing. mad ghoul or something. Oh, uh, evil uh, ghoul from above. What is that span? It's not yeah. span guy. And the answer is, it's got a wingspan, yeah. but it's uh, that Billie Eilish figure oh, yeah, B. from Playmates. Uh, All the good girls go to hell. Music video. Um, I am a, a, an eye light. Yeah, you are an eye like her. I'm not her... even gonna lie, guy. I think I'm an eye light. I'm a mad eye light. Yeah. Plus, great. you got the mad titty. Great uh, music. Her and her brother. Yeah. Fucking badass. Uh, Mad Titty edition. <laughs> and yeah, it was fucking cool. I know I know a lot of people be hating. Yeah. But I'm like, uh, you suck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good good jams, guy. You be bumping. I'm like, bumping, bumping. Yeah, that's your favorite song? Bumping, bumping, bumping. That's an actual song. I forgot who sung it. Is it? That sucks. Who was it? I think it was Cray Sean. I think that's her song. Hi. Anyway. Well, Billie Maybe. Eilish fucking doll. Uh, this is a doll that you own. This is also our first uh, and I think only ever co-owned doll. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the deal was that we co-own it. Uh, of course, the deal entailed that I would never touch it, but I would just stare at it occasionally. Through and a sweaty bakery window <laughs> yeah it hasn't happened yet but i do plan on uh on doing that every once in a while uh i will divulge that uh this doll the the box that the, the boxes that these came in by the way turn into displays for them which is pretty cool I'll throw over there and i'm uh, mad not bringing them in yeah, but uh the point is uh she came in with all this stiff ass product in her hair yeah and mad poofy hair and of course billy Eilish doesn't have mad poofy hair so it looked fucking weird, man. So I literally spent hours combing her hair. And it's not perfect, but uh, it's not a mad fucking afro now. So uh, that's a thing I fucking did for hours, yeah, guy. Yeah, that's fine. Guess I own a doll now. Or is it that I own two dolls? Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. I found this in a Goodwill. And that's a Maleficent doll. And, uh, I, of course, I like the movie quite a damn bit. It's pretty fucking badass. But, as it turns out, this, uh, this Goodwill pickup for uh, a few bucks, six, what was it, six, seven bucks? Yeah. Uh, it's a mad collector's item, guy. 
fuck fucking people selling this shit for insane prices. Uh, I mean, I just bought it because I want the fucking doll, but as it turns a, out... This was a similar moment to the ones that are the Bioshock figures I found. Yeah, yeah. Were there, yeah. Except you knew. I was just I like, did, I yeah. was just like, oh, this is cool. I mean, you you two just want the figures, yeah. but I was like, oh fuck, this is fucking badass. Uh, I know uh, you're a Maleficent fan. Uh, I'm personally a uh, more a fan of uh, male pheasants, <laughs> especially when they go like this. Yeah, they're like, that's a pheasant. My move. pheasant move, classic pheasant. <laughs> Not fez. Pheasants wearing fezes. Yeah. <laughs> Played by fez. Damn, fez. Fez is a guy that yeah. it's not around anymore. Nope. Anyway. <laughs> I think that's it on my end, guy. Now, there are some uh, wrestling figures, but they're very precariously uh, displayed. Yeah. So, it was, uh, I was not going to take them out. It's not it worth like, it. It's totally not worth it. The point is, you can see uh, one of them back there. It's uh, going to be in my freaking... Ray home. Ripley. Yeah, it's going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, if you're familiar with wrestlers, uh, I got a Ray Ripley and Elite, uh, Ronda Rousey, the most recent one. Uh, fucking uh, Sarah Logan... Uh, uh, fucking uh, Bailey, New Bailey, Evil Bailey, Yo Shirai, etc. A variety of them, and I think that's it, guy. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh wait, wait, wait! I got that. I, I, I live more normal. Live more for my zombie. For mad cheap guy. Yeah, yeah. Mad cheap. It was one of those moms that sells their her kid stuff. Yeah, and doesn't know. So she was like ten bucks. I guy. found that cheap recently. Plus the ship. Well, actually, it was another figure. How do they make profit on ten bucks plus like six dollars? They shipping? don't. That was just a straight up loss. I guess, her, man. man. And she had the other one that I already have the 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 Betty White looking ass. Yeah. And she was like, "Oh, I have this one too." And I was like, "Oh, I already have it." Yeah. But she was like, "I'll, I'll bunch it in, like you Come know." On, well, you're losing money. Like, How are you making money, girl? Yeah. Did you get them gold, girl and girls figures? I want another Betty White guy. You want the golden girl figures? No, I just want Betty White. I can't believe they made those. Man. <laughs> anyway, uh, they should have come. They, they all should have come with a piece of cheesecake, and it's a cheesecake build a cheese, <laughs> build a cake. <laughs> oh man, I would want that. <laughs> oh man, I would want that so bad, and I'd eat it and be like, "Damn, I got poison." Yeah, mad plastic. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thank you for joining us for this fucking descent into idiotic purchases of plastic beings. <laughs> uh the next episode will be all our movies and music and stuff uh, or our next uh our hall podcast yeah. will be uh of movies and music i do also and... want to pimp out that i'm gonna do a semi-regular series i hope mm -hmm. on my channel where i'm just gonna unbox it and talk about it mm -hmm. hopefully starting with this hall of shit mm -hmm. so if you want to if you're interested in fat large talking about toys even longer I'll occasionally pop into that. Uh, yeah. So apparently cameos are a thing. Uh, uh, word up. Also, we're not on cameo, no. but we are wearing cameos. Fucking super codpiece, dude. Codpiece guy. Too many codpiece. Anyway, we're out. These music stupid sounds all kinds of shit for you. Anything goes inside tonight. Don't get me copulent too.